Welcome enthusiasts. Join us as we dive into a fascinating journey about the light spectrum and its impact on cannabis plants. Whether you're a seasoned grower or just starting out, understanding how different wavelengths of light affect cannabis plants can make a world of difference. By the end of this educational video, you'll have a solid grasp of the light spectrum, how it influences each stage of cannabis growth, and how to optimize lighting for the best results. Before we begin, we just wanted to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, Medic Grow. Since 2013, Medic Grow has been at the forefront of innovation, providing energy efficient, high performance lighting solutions for both home and commercial growers. Whether you're growing for fun or trying out something new, Medic Grow's cutting edge technology promotes healthier plants and bigger yields, all while reducing energy costs. With a five year warranty and a commitment to quality, Medic Grow is here to support you along your growing journey. Stick around until the end of the video for a chance to win an NEO 780 Smart Aura Control System. Also, don't forget to check out Medic Grow's full range of advanced grow lights at their website, medicgrow.com. They are also offering some promo codes, which I will attach to the summary of this video. So be sure to check it out. Also, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. And finally, please remember that this is an educational video and therefore all information provided is for educational purposes only. Now let's dive in by starting with the basics. Chapter 1. The Light Spectrum The light spectrum refers to the range of wavelengths of light emitted by a light source and was first discovered by Sir Isaac Newton in the late 17th century. In 1666, Newton conducted a series of experiments using a glass prism. He observed that when sunlight passed through the prism, it separated into a band of colors. This phenomenon known as dispersion led Newton to conclude that white light is composed of a spectrum. Newton's discovery of the visible spectrum was a groundbreaking moment in the history of optics and laid the foundation for the study of light and color. Optics, the book he published in 1704, significantly advanced our understanding of the properties of light and laid the groundwork for modern-day grow light technology. Fast forward to today and scientists now know that the light spectrum is like a rainbow, stretching from violet to red, with each color representing a different wavelength of light. Violet has the shortest wavelength and red has the longest. All plants, including cannabis, benefit from exposure to specific wavelengths, depending on where they are in their growth cycle. By understanding and utilizing the right wavelengths of light, one can significantly enhance cannabis cultivation at each stage of the growth process. This includes improved growth rates, increased yields, and a boost in the production of desirable compounds. Chapter 2. The Power of Blue and Red Light in Cannabis Cultivation the effects of blue and red lights on cannabis plant growth are rooted in the principles of photosynthesis and plant biology. Each color of light influences specific plant functions, and understanding this can help growers optimize their lighting setup to promote healthy growth and high yields. For example, blue light falls within the range of 400 to 500 nanometers on the light spectrum and has a short wavelength and high energy. It plays a crucial role during the vegetative growth stage as well as regulating several key processes in the plant, such as stimulation of chlorophyll production. Chlorophyll is the pigment responsible for capturing light energy and converting it into chemical energy through photosynthesis. Blue light is highly effective at stimulating chlorophyll production, which in turn enhances the plant's ability to capture energy and grow vigorously. Promotion of compact and bushy growth. Blue light encourages the production of leaves and stems that are dense and close together. This is ideal during the vegetative stage when the plant is building a strong structure to support the weight of future buds. Plants exposed to sufficient blue light tend to grow shorter and bushier, with tight internodal spacing, which is the distance between sets of leaves. This results in a more compact and robust plant. Regulation of Phototropism Phototropism is the process by which plants grow toward a light source. Blue light is particularly effective at influencing phototropic responses, helping plants orient themselves to capture maximum light. This ensures that the entire canopy receives even light distribution, which is essential for uniform growth. 
Red light, on the other hand, can be considered the flowering and bud development specialist. Red light, which ranges from 600 to 700 nanometers, has a longer wavelength and lower energy compared to blue light. It is particularly important for the later stages of cannabis growth. It helps to trigger flowering. Red light is crucial for the transition from the vegetative stage to the flowering stage. It influences the plant's photo period, which is its internal clock that senses the length of day and night. As cannabis plants are photo period sensitive, they begin to flower when they receive around 12 hours of uninterrupted darkness. This signals to the plant that it's time to start producing flowers, triggering the reproductive phase. As a result, the plant enhances the production of phytohormones like auxins, which regulate cell elongation and bud development. This will help the plant to develop larger, denser buds, which are essential for a high yield. Finally, red light improves flower quality by influencing the synthesis of secondary metabolites like terpenes and cannabinoids, which are responsible for the aroma, flavor, and potency of cannabis buds. More red light during flowering can lead to buds with higher concentrations of these desirable compounds. So what happens if a grower uses red and blue light together? When blue and red lights are combined, they create a synergistic effect that enhances overall plant growth. Blue light promotes healthy leaf and stem development, while red light encourages flowering and bud formation. Together, they provide a balanced spectrum that meets the plant's needs throughout its life cycle. Similarly, a combination of blue and red light ensures that the plant remains compact and strong during the vegetative stage while maximizing bud production during flowering. This balance is crucial for achieving high yields and potent buds. Chapter 3. Full Spectrum Lighting this brings us to the concept of full-spectrum lighting. Full-spectrum lights are designed to mimic natural sunlight, providing a balanced range of wavelengths that can support a cannabis plant throughout its entire life cycle. This type of lighting covers the entire visible spectrum, from ultraviolet UV through visible light, blue, green, and red, to far red wavelengths. Traditionally, the more popular full-spectrum lighting options for cannabis cultivation include high-pressure sodium, HPS, fluorescent, and LED lights. High-pressure sodium, HPS lights are widely used in commercial cannabis cultivation due to their intense light output and effectiveness during the flowering stage. They emit a strong red-orange spectrum, ideal for promoting bud development and increasing yields. However, HPS lights are not truly full spectrum and often lack sufficient blue light, which is needed for vegetative growth. They also generate significant heat, which can be a challenge to manage and require additional cooling systems. Fluorescent lights, such as T5 and CFLs, are often used for seedlings and early vegetative growth due to their lower intensity and broad spectrum coverage, which includes both blue and red wavelengths. While they are more energy efficient and produce less heat than HPS lights, they are generally not powerful enough for the flowering stage of cannabis cultivation. Fluorescent lights are most effective for small-scale grows or for supplementing other lighting systems, but their limited intensity and shorter lifespan make them less ideal for large-scale operations. LED lights represent a more modern approach to full-spectrum lighting and offers precise control over light quality and intensity. Unlike HPS and fluorescent lights, LEDs can be designed to emit a full spectrum of light, including ultraviolet, UV, and infrared IR wavelengths, allowing growers to tailor the light output to each stage of cannabis growth. LEDs are highly energy efficient, produce minimal heat, and have a long lifespan, making them a cost-effective and versatile option for both small and large-scale grows. Advanced LED systems can include features like cycle timers, dimming, spectrum switching, Wi-Fi, and programmable light cycles, providing growers with unparalleled control over their growing environment and maximizing plant health and yield potential. Chapter 4. The NEO 780 Smart Aura Control System Before we conclude, we just wanted to take a moment to once again thank our sponsor of today's video, Medic Grow. Now let me introduce you to the NEO 780 Smart Aura Control System, a true game changer for all cannabis enthusiasts. This powerful 780 watt grow light features the Aura Control System, offering precise control with just a spin, light press, or long press. 
You can seamlessly manage settings like cycle timers, dimming, sunrise and sunset modes, and even group control up to 100 lights with its Wi-Fi mesh connectivity. The NEO 780 offers two full spectrums, V1 for vegetative growth and F1 for flowering, ensuring your plants get exactly what they need at each stage. With a PPF output of 2184 U-moles, it provides the perfect balance of light intensity to promote strong, healthy growth and maximize your yields. It's designed to cover areas from 4x4 to 5x7 feet, making it ideal for a variety of growing spaces. And with the built-in stepless dimmer and group control, this light is perfect for any grower aiming for precision. Plus, Medic Grow backs the NEO 780 with a five-year warranty, so you can grow with confidence. Now here's the exciting part. Medic Grow is partnering with us to give away a free NEO 780 Grow Light. To participate, make sure to subscribe to our channel and type Learn About Smart Lighting with Medic Grow in the comment section below. A winner will be chosen on November 28, 2024. Don't miss your chance to win this incredible light and take your grow to the next level. For more information about this giveaway, please go to the video summary. Oh, and before we go, if you like this video, be sure to click on the like and subscribe button for more content like this. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.